if they just waited for the opener and played even more defensively than the uh, brand we just saw. And Flames obviously capable uh, of doing work CC-wise. So we'll see how they do. Actually, they're coming right out of the gates. So they're gonna get right down to it. And um, looks like Sats is gonna slow roll there. And this is a very, very smart play for him. He knows they have to, they've have they gotta change it up. It can't be just cut and dry, open, win games. They've gotta come up with something a little bit more intelligent. And uh, we're waiting on the, the timing here for Sats' opener is gonna be absolutely huge. Uh, will he be able to open at the right time to where number one and orange are not pressured too much to help him is the question. Well, orange has been completely stripped of buffs right now. It looks like he's going to start taking those damage as he has the UA up plus a corruption. There's the opening onto Daily, blind onto Go Go Dancer. The Druid has already trinketed instantly. There's a CS onto Inflame. Uh, damage coming in on Daily. They, oh, there's the deep freeze. They're going to go hard onto, onto Lupe here. He's taking a lot of damage. Only one hot. Uh, Barkson is up though. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get the kill. Sats though, Death Quill. Will they look for a reset or continue going hard? Cloak already forced, big damage coming out there. There's the Vanish off. They're gonna try to reopen onto Lupe with no hots. In caster form, no hots, no Barkskin, no Trinket. This is their chance, they need to kill now. Here comes damage. CS onto Daily's Lesser Healing Wave. Huge damage coming in, 7,000 HP, 5,000 HP. Gets Wound Poison off, there's the NS. Is he gonna use it? It's still sitting there. He has the NS available, but he's back to full HP. Elemental Mastery up onto Daily right now. They're looking for their target, but they can't find exactly who to get onto. They did force a walk out of Orange Marmalade already, but Sats needing to sprint to close back onto his target. Yep, yeah, uh, number one was in a Cyclone there. He's able to get the spells on Sats. Sats hopefully gonna get a restealth here. No, denied by Inflame. Good job with his pet there. Still looking for the restealth, but Daily coming around with that Frost Shot. Good job. Lupe keeping distance. Are they going to be able to get back to him? It doesn't look like it. He is very far out there. Pops his Innervate right now, and number one sees that. He's going to go for the Dispels, but Lupe is too far away. Yeah, and Orange Marmalade getting really aggressive out here, just playing Orange straight Marmalade just into Spell the stole that Innervate, yeah. but it was near the end of it, so it really did not accomplish that much. All right, so that big fear onto the center, followed by a Cyclone onto Orange Marmalade at the same time. And it's, uh, they really need to not layer those crowd controls as much. So we see Good that fear there again. catching both Inflame and Daily. Deep Freeze on to Go Go Dancer. He only has one hot. He's, there's Sparkskin. He's taking a lot of damage. They will not likely be able to kill him during the Sparkskin. They're going to have to reset once again as he's getting topped up here. Yeah, and honestly, Lupe's trinket's coming right back up here very, very shortly. So, like we were saying, LST's gonna have an advantage as the spike drags out, and there's the Lust, and they've obviously got a target in mind. And it might be Sats if they can find him. There's Sats the Root on it. there. Nice Root. UA Root on Sats. Uh, he's gonna be stuck in that. Number one can't really afford to dispel that UA at this point in the game. Lots of damage coming on. Orange Marmalade as well. That's his second Ice Block. Uh, so, they could be in trouble here. Wow. But he did spell seal that. Uh, that bloodlust right there, but it was perched off right away. Wow, Sats down to half right now. Sats Tons of damage coming out wow. with that death coil, and they blow him up right next to the tomb. Well, that pretty much came out of nowhere. Sats had Cloak available at that point, I do believe, but that death coil, he was not able to do anything about it. He had no trinket, and he just got blown up. All right, with a lot of defensive cooldowns forced out of the team of Lights, Camera, Action, but Loaded just not able to capitalize on those gaps in the cooldowns. And a big thing to note towards the end, I don't think it would have lasted that 